I'm so happy, y'all. Like, I'm sitting down, but like I'm dancing right now. So, um, okay, so tonight's meditation, I actually am doing something different. I actually wanted to pray. I wanted to pray. We're in the beginning of the new year. So um, if everybody could close their eyes, we are going to use our collective God-like qualities uh, to focus on the same thing having the same thoughts simultaneously to God and manifesting that power. So if we all could close our eyes, I just wanted to say, say a prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for this group. Thank you that we have found others who share our vibration, that we have all come together with the same vision the same goal of realigning our minds back to love. We come to you in prayer right now at the beginning of this new year, asking that you continue to bless us with the knowledge of who we are and who you are, God. We understand that many, many people do not know that they are individuations of you. And we are so very grateful that we have ears that hear and eyes that see the truth. <clears throat> we come to you right now professing that we choose more wisdom, more abundance, more forgiveness, and more love. We choose freedom from fear, freedom from worry, freedom from anxiety, freedom from judgment. God, we speak higher and higher experiences for ourselves and others as we embark on the next phase of our lives. We welcome expansion, power, and truth. We do not always know what is around the corner for us, God, but that's what makes us courageous. We understand and are thrilled that you handpick each and every one of us to come across this material. And we are so very grateful for our elder brother, Jesus, who lo whose love is so fierce and so present that he would go through these great strains to ensure that we return back to love, that we will be soothed by the calm of peace, that joy will fill our bodies with its healing properties, that light will permeate our shadows to reveal our divinity. We understand God that our bodies are innocent and that the body is merely here to assist us in this experience of perceived separation. We understand that the body follows the leadership of our mind. And that is encouraging because we know that if we free our minds of the harmful conditioning we have endured, that our bodies will follow and heal itself in response. Thank you G that Jesus has shown us another way. And thank you for the beings who have purified their minds enough to channel Jesus. What a blessing it is that we can hear directly from our brother who has so much wisdom, love and light. We are excited about this year, God. We cannot wait to see where you take this group. We know that we are light workers and God, that you will use us to guide others in their time of darkness. We accept this function with honor and humility, God. And we understand that as lesson 66 indicates, our happiness and our function are one. Thank you, God. Our hearts are filled with gratitude. Please continue to guide and speak to us throughout the day. And we pray that we may be able to hear your voice time and time again. We love you with all our hearts. Amen.